Hi everyone, hi YouTube and hello world. My name's Alistair and I'm gonna show you, I have some good news that I bought my very first car last month which was on October the 15th, 20, 2018. I got my new car from Toyota Hastings. But before I talk about my car, first car, I went to Mount Victoria Lookout, which is 11 Wellington, and did so, decided to do some filming with my Samsung S9. This is a E New Zealand A320 plane, aeroplane departing Wellington Airport, heading towards prob most likely Auckland. So yeah, this is a top of what the CBD, CBD looks like from Mount Victoria Lookout in Wellington, New Zealand. It was actually a really beautiful day on Monday. I recorded this Monday this week and I'm doing editing this video and doing voice commentary on Wednesday the 14th of November 2018. So I'll get this commentary done and then I'll produce the video and then upload it to my YouTube channel, uh, channel tonight. So yeah, this is what my new car looks like. It's a white Toyota Aqua or Press C 2013 model. I got this game from Japan. Oh, I got this from photo. No, I got this from Toyota Hastings, which is in Hawke's Bay, New Zealand, North Island. So it's a Toyota Aqua 2013. It's a hybrid. I was considering getting a Toyota Yaris and I had a 16,000k budget for that car. As you know, New Zealand, everything in New Zealand is quite expensive because everyone, every manufacturer tends to overcharge in the New Zealand market, dollar market when you compare to what they charge in different countries. So this is what the rear of my car looks like. I took it to Mount Victoria Monday this week. Beautiful day. Now it does have two windscreen wipers, which is better than the Yaris's one screen wiper. Um, yeah, so my first car, and I'm proud of it. I did get it from Toyota directly, even though they charge more for the used cars. It is a signature range car, so it means I get five years warranty on it. Five years warranty, two years serv free servicing, and yeah five years Toyota AA roadside assistance, which is good. Also, um, I decided to get an upgrade through Toyota Kent Terrace, which is my local Toyota dealership in Wellington. I actually did flew up to Toyota Hastings. You'll see a video of my YouTube, that video on my YouTube channel from last month. So it's there. So yeah, I decided to upgrade it to uh, touch to as you can see there, touch to multimeter screen, which has Bluetooth and also reversing camera. That costs 400 New Zealand dollars um, from Toyota directly, from Toyota New Zealand directly. Um, plus they, Toyota King Terrace Wellington charges $112 uh, per hour for servicing labor costs. And that includes GST. So, it took them about three hours to install the multimeter touch two, official Toyota touch two. Um, yeah, so that cost me eight hundred dollars all up, and then another two hundred or three hundred dollars for three hour, up to three hours work on um, them installing my Blackview nine hundred S camera. I'll talk about that later in an, in the next video. So yeah, it has indicators on the wing mirrors, which is good. I'm not sure if the Yaris does that too. Signature range class, Aqua. In Japan they call it Aqua. Um, every other country they tend to call it a Parisi. It's a hybrid, which is good. I did break my budget though, but by several hundred dollars, but yeah. <laughs> It's well worth the investment because it gives you independence. Um, you don't have to stick to a strip bus timetable. Yeah. Um, it has tinted uh, back passenger door windows as well as a tinted um, rear view mirror as well. 
it has it is more it is slightly more bigger than a Yaris, which is which is what I like, especially in terms of boot space and rear passenger uh, seat knee room space as well. It also has more cubby holes and more compartments than a Yaris as well, which is great. Um, the boot is definitely larger than the Yaris, not by much, but I can fit my huge trunk that I take on with me on holidays, like to Auckland and Sydney. I've been to Sydney a few times. I will be going to Auckland, Tauranga and Hastings over uh, December and New Year's. So I've already applied for work, uh, annual leave, so that's great. So the car it has a reversing camera. Toyota brand and it's just my big trunk and my uh, trolley bag. My trolley bag is like 80 centimeters tall by roughly about 30 centimeters thick, 30, 40 centimeters thick. This is what the front passenger and driver seat seats look like. Also has a nice uh, transmission gear knob as well. Kind of got some blue in it as well, which is good. The fuel door thingy. Um, it does not have a ceiling um, center ceiling light. This ceiling light is more positioned in the front seating area. Um, yeah, and that's my rear. I have a two-channel dash cam system, Blackview 900S. And that's the rear camera there, too. I also decided to um, actually went to Blackview to get my uh, dash cam repositioned to the just below the uh, just behind the front mirror on the windshield because Toyota Ken Terrace actually stood it installed it right at the top left corner of my windshield and it wasn't get, and it wasn't getting um windscreen wiper coverage during wet days so that was not something that i like about the Kentus method so i went to blackview's official installer and they were able to do that uh, quick relocation in one hour and i paid only 92 dollars new zealand and that included and included gst as well so this was the computerized high tech dash um, looks like. Um, the windshield uh, the windshield dimensions aren't that very broad. It's kind of like smallish. Well this is a subcompact car so yeah much like the Yaris but it is slightly bigger than the Yaris. So the touch to media system I can play my Bluetooth of my smartphone, which is a Samsung S9. It has more cubby holes, more drink holders than the Yaris. It has an Eco mode and an EV mode as well. Um, when you're driving, you, this car mostly uses the EV charge, but when you're going up hills or if you put your foot down on the pedal um, or you're traveling at higher speeds, like higher than 50 kilometers per hour, um, then that's when it automatically switches to the gasoline engine. I believe that it's like a 34 or 36 liter tank that I have. Um, I did fuel this uh, tank for the very first time since it hit New Zealand, Ireland, uh, Toyota Hastings, obviously doing it. Um, paid $63 to get from to refuel my tank completely. 63 New Zealand dollars, so that isn't bad. Um, when you compare the Yaris, which is like 48, 48 times 2.4 dollars, which is how much it costs roughly for per liter of fuel in New Zealand. Um, that's why Toyota is importing more from Toyota Japan, because Toyota is a Japanese company. Um, so they're importing more from Japan, so that because everyone's scared about the fuel prices in New Zealand, it's going up and up and down, fluctuating. OMG, what's happening? So hybrid's good. Uh, it's better for the environment, less uh, combustion, pollution, smoke coming out the exhaust part. Etc. is like 95 grams per k kilometer, which is good. So yeah, mirror controls. These have retractable mirrors, electronically retractable mirrors, which is good. The brakes are down there. So yeah.
and got a Vanity Mirror over there as well, which was good. Now, I did um, pay 16995 New Zealand dollars for this car from Toyota Hastings. It's a signature class, which means it's reliable. Toyota's a reliable brand. Um, it's a five-year solid warranty, include, which includes the hybrid ba battery and the transmission system, which is awesome. You don't want to go ch be a cheap home and get a car for like $6,000 with conditional warranty or no warranty at all. So you pay more, less hassle, less worries. So yeah, and this is what my car originally came with, the media system looks kind of bland to me so I'll go to the touch screen touch 2 Toyota touch 2 Bluetooth looks better and it's more convenient you can play music off it take phone calls with it two drink holes and yeah this is what my Blackview uh, 900s two channel dash cam system now Blackview does have an authorized distributor and authorized retailer in New Zealand which is awesome I got also got a parking battery as well I'll go into more details with that and a different video coming up this week later this week probably in the weekend uh, manual Toyota quality believe I think it's the New Zealand or global slogan or logo yeah and their manuals are color They've got color pictures, which is good, not just black and white. I think the manual is mostly black and white, though, because um, it's a Japanese Toyota manual for the car. Now, I did pay 704 New Zealand dollars, 704 New Zealand dollars for a 12-month full Toyota comprehensive insurance coverage, which is good. I asked the Toyota dealership for to cover me if I parked my vehicle on a parking deck and if there was an earthquake, deck collapse and a crash into a house, they said it will cover all those things. So that's great because Wellington is notorious for A, it's wind and B, it's earthquakes because Wellington sits right on the fault line, main fault line in, of New Zealand, which is, yeah. Okay. And also Wellington has tight roads as well. And as it's hilly, the geographic location of it. So this is what my Toyota uh, financial services folder they gave me. They gave me heaps of paperwork, contracts, an initial sales agreement contract and a file contract for when I arrived at the dealership to sign off and agree that I want the car and I'm purchase, purchasing the car. Um, yeah. And this is what the brochures, uh, Toyota Hastings had run up co copies of this. So I emailed Toyota Insurance New Zealand and they shipped me free uh, two copies of their policy. Which is great because I have already paid for 12 months membership. It offers you peace of mind because you could get into a crash or an accident. Hopefully you won't, but in the unlikely event that you do, yeah, you have that safety net of insurance and it's Toyota insurance because they'll get it done directly from Toyota rather than having third-party insurance like AA or state don't like state but yeah AA yeah pretty much my first insurance that I've had so far which is Toyota insurance which is good okay so features of my car include ABS brake, ABS brakes power steering, air conditioning, Bluetooth player, electric mirrors, electric windows, central locking, and keyless entry. I only get one key remote, but I, also, but I get two key physical key copies as well. Also, my cover, cover, insurance coverage excess is $500. That's the best one that you can do. You can't get any lower excess like 200 300 or zero dollar excesses then their minimum is 500 dollar excess which is fine but you get one free windshield repair and one or one free windshield replacement per 12 months without having to pay the 500 dollar claim excess which is a bonus feature so the new zealand government as you can see supports toyota and 
they acknowledge that Toyota is doing their bit for the environment and to offer good customer service. Nice pretty pictures and uh, in their booklets. I also went with uh, a Eco to what you what do you call it? Um, hotspot mobile hotspot that I got from Vodafone New Zealand for ninety nine New Zealand dollars. It acts like a wireless modem, like your wireless home network, and you can use it with um, wherever you go. Because my um, my dash view, no, my black view has Wi-Fi. So I also got this Belkin, uh, my first ten thousand milliamps milliamp hours um, portable USB uh, power bank. Um, got it on sale from JB Hi-Fi for 48 New Zealand dollars. Originally it's 68 New Zealand dollars in New Zealand. Insurance, some more documents, which is good. Wow, I'm going through this commentary and video quite fast. <laughs> I was thinking, I need to talk for like 20 minutes in this video. Yeah, I'm going to do that, but I'm actually, the time goes quite fast. So I got this letter from New Zealand. And right now I'm going to show you some video clips of... Um, yeah, my car. My car has uh, has already travelled 66,000 kilometres, and it also has a petrol hybrid. Um, yeah, and it also has an uh, engine capacity of 1,496 cc, whatever that means. So yeah, here's some dash cam footage of the Blackview 900S to channel dash cam. This dash cam that I have is actually the best currently on the market 4k less pixelated than other dash cams can especially um, especially navman navman cameras are so pixelated because it's only 1080 30 frames per second it's like 2018 and you're doing only that okay so this is around the base from Lyle Bay me traveling from Lyle Bay to um, Island Bay I live in Island Bay Island Bay is like a middle class suburb so it's a really nice suburb it's not a like a it's not like a Porsche or you have to worry about security in the suburb because it's a quite a nice suburb And yeah, this was captured on Sunday, I believe. Yeah, Sunday or Saturday, the weekend. Double decker buses, the two double decker buses that you just saw like a minute ago, they were electric because electrics only have four wheels and the diesel double deckers have like six wheels. And this is Island Bay Beach. Now, I did do quite a bit of research before I decided to get this car. Rather than yeah, so high more room, better reviews, yeah. And is this me traveling at home now? Yeah. One thing you need to notice is that when you get first get your black view uh, dash cam, make sure that you calibrate the GPS time. Otherwise, the time will be incorrect unless you manually change it. Best to run off the GPS time. Me driving home from work, this is the rear view camera. Double decker buses. You'll, you'll see two of them in this clip right now. One is the Island Bay number one, which is traveling on a bus lane, operating bus lane which operates four to six weekdays. That's why it's traveling quite smoothly. I love the double decker buses. They came into effect when the government rolled up and over review completely changed the routes and timetables and fares of the bus services in Wellington mid this year. So the number 32 bus which you see right now behind the other double decker bus that takes the more quicker route to Island Bay um, goes over Adelaide Road rather than through Newtown and Rintoul Street. And this is a sunny day actually taken today. <laughs> Me traveling back home from work. So I live with, I work with Wellington City Council. Yeah, great job. Actually been working for them since last year. So I've been with them for like a year so far. So yeah, um, the following my ring 
Funko video, a music video. I got that off um, Toy uh, to YouTube video UK, Toy to UK hybrid video. Um, yeah, and then they played this music, and I actually found love with the music. And it's also not what you don't have to worry too much about copyright with this music because some video music audio you have to worry if they're going to close your YouTube channel down, give you a copyright strike, or mute the audio. So, yeah. And this is traveling back from the city to Island Bay, got Wakefield Park on your right. And this was actually filmed today as well, which is quite good. So yeah, I'll leave some info and description details in the description of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm quite proud that I got my first car, finally. <laughs> and yeah, I decided to go with the more expensive option of the hybrid rather than the Yaris, but I think it paid, paid off. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, leave give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, do that. I will be doing quite a few dash cam videos now on my YouTube channel since I have my car and uh, an excellent dash cam. So yeah, I'll be going on holidays over New Year's as well, so I'll film some footage there. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and yeah, bye.